Greetings, everybody. I'm Mr. C, and I am going to show you today how to create a parent portal account. Now, wait, if you already have one, the reason you're going to use it is because you need to do the annual family update. In these times right now, it is crucial that we have all the right phone numbers, addresses, and contact information, especially with us not knowing how school is going to start next year. We want to be able to communicate successfully with parents. This is not the easiest process. It's not the fastest process, but it is important. So please make sure you have created a parent portal account and done your family update. Do it now, please. I'm going to show you how to do it. We're going to go fast. So if you need to stop this video and rewind and rewatch things, great. But I'm going to go as quick as I can. All right, it starts with this. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to Google DPS Parent Portal. That's always how I find it. It's this right here. It says Parent Portal, Denver, Denver Public Schools. If you click on that, it's going to take you to this site. Okay, you'll know you're at the right site when you see this. Scroll to the bottom. You're going to need to put in your student's ID number where it says student ID. If you don't know it, ask your child. If your child doesn't know it, almost anyone from your school can provide you with this number if you ask. So reach out to someone at your school. Then you're going to need to put in that student's birthday with slashes. Okay, so if it's like April 24th, 1981, my birthday, 04 slash 24 slash 1981. Then you're going to click submit. It's going to take you to this screen and say, who are you? I am not Mary Ellen Camilleri. That's my wife. I'm Michael Camilleri. So you click on your name when this screen shows up and then click submit. It's going to take you to this screen where you have to acknowledge the rules of Parent Portal and say, yes, I acknowledge and I am and I'm allowing you to use my data for X, Y, and Z, and I'm also allowing I am giving my consent to use this form. Then click submit. It will take you to this page, which is a very important page. Listen up. You need to pick a username and you have to have an email address. If you don't have an email address, stop right now and go create a free email address from literally anywhere because you'll need to be able to access that email address. Also, write this username that you're making down in your diary because you're going to use it later. Then you're going to need to create a password. Also important that you write this password down in your diary. We will use this again very shortly. Okay. Once you have selected a username, provided your email address, and put in your password twice, it's going to take you to this page and say, you need to check your email. You got to do that. Go to your email. There, is, there is, uh, They should have sent you an email right away which will allow you to verify your email address. So you have to click to verify. Once you do, it's going to say, woohoo, your account's verified. Whoa, you're all done. You're not all done. Okay, you're, you're about, we're about halfway there. <laughs> so you need to wait 15 to 20 minutes. I know, it's the exciting part. For them to send you another email, that email is going to look like this. This is the second email they're sending you after you verified your email account. Okay, and it says, hey, congratulations, you're in Parent Portal. Woo, login. See that little login, that little blue login right there? Click it. It's going to take you to this page where you will click login, which will take you to this page where you're going to click sign in. Why did they do that? Why is there two pages for this? I don't know, but you have to click them both. Then it will take you to this page. <gasps> remember what you wrote down in your diary? Do you remember your username? If you put your email address in here, it won't work. You have to use that username from that slide, from that page, from that account that you created a few steps ago. You'll also need that password that you created at this time too. So make sure you write those down at the, at the critical time. Then it's going to take you to this page. <gasps> We're almost sort of there. Okay. You have your account. You have your access. You're in there. This is what we need you to do. So we know we have all your correct information. We need that annual family update done. Okay, all Denver public schools need this update done every year. It helps us know that we're contacting families correctly and you're getting the information. You, we need this, you want this. So click annual family update. It's gonna take you to this tab where you will see your kids. These aren't your kids, these are my kids. I have DPS kids too, okay? If those are your kids, click woohoo, begin or comenzar. Okay, M meaning to begin. It will take you to this screen where you might get stuck and go, I don't know what to do here. You have to click the language that you want. I prefer English. You might not. Click whatever your preferred language is and it's going to take you to this 
page where it's where you will have to type in your signature, which is basically typing in your name, and then click sub and then click submit. Now everything after this is very personal, very private information. So I'm not going to show you that, but it's basically prompt after prompt where you're going to provide emergency contact information, home phone, address, at all sorts of information and demographic information about your student and about your family. It's so important that we get those contact information pieces like as soon as possible. Okay, remote learning or a hybrid of it may exist when the school year starts next year. So the sooner you update that information, the more um, the more informed you will be. You will start getting you will get all the correct communications from us at the correct time. So please, please, please. I know I flew through this. It took me I don't know thirty minutes to get to this point, and then it took me like twenty minutes to do my first kid after this, and like ten minutes. It, each kid after that. It's time consuming. It's annoying. I know. But we love you and we need your information. So please, please, please do your annual family update and please, please, please make sure you have access to your parent portal. If you have any questions after this or as a result of this, please contact somebody from your school. They should be more than able to help you. But don't leave this year without having completed your parent portal. Pretty please and thank you, Cheese. Have a great day.